Hello, and as always, welcome. Today, we are going to jump on the one simple trick bandwagon. And I am about to make your life so much easier. The difference between our one simple trick and all those other ones is that ours actually works. I'm about to show you a simple and foolproof method for choosing the best freeform lens design for your customer. A lot of docs, even a lot of opticians, seem to have this holy grail idea that there is a one go-to lens. Five years ago, 10 years ago, Sure, you used the Gorbot 7 for everything, and man, it worked just great. It is the very nature of freeform that says if you change anything, your sphere by a quarter, sill by a quarter, axis by a degree, the entire lens design changes. So there is no such thing as a consistent go-to lens. Let's crush that myth once and for all. You've got to choose your freeform lens design specific to your patient, your RX, their needs, and I'm about to show you how to do that in a real simple way. Please do me a favor and watch this one all the way through to the end. I have a little, well, I guess maybe it's a mini rant directed just at you. Engage. And what is the one simple proven trick to choosing the perfect freeform lens. And I say proven because we have filled thousands and thousands of orders this way and the results have been fantastic. The trick, do it by the numbers. If your customer is a minus, their prescription looks like a minus 150 or a minus two, minus 75 at 137, that customer is near sighted. In other words, they can read, they can thread a needle, they could put a pair of glasses together. Things here, good. If you want to choose the perfect free form for a person that's near sighted, choose a lens that favors distance. They struggle with that. If you give them a lens that favors the distance, they're going to be thrilled. If you're looking at a Laramie K IoT design, choose our Rebel. The Rebel favors distance. Trust me, this works. The opposite, if your customer is plus, let's say they're wearing a plus two, or a plus two minus 75 at 137, they're farsighted. They can see the sign down the road. They can see the bird up in the tree. They can't see things up close. So if you give them a freeform design that favors the near, they are gonna be so happy. If you're looking at a Laramie K IoT design, look for the Rogue. The Rogue is a freeform lens that favors near. I'm gonna mention this now and again, uh, the Camber Lens Blank series, the variable base curve series, really, really shines in the plus prescriptions. So if you've got those higher hyperopes or the problem hyperope, choose the camber technology level and you're gonna make out a whole lot better. That is it. One simple proven trick to choosing the perfect free form lens. I've just been talking about lenses that favor either near or distance. One of the great things about free form design is that you can make a lens that favors whatever you want. And there are some other versions that we carry that I'd like to talk about. These are our brand names. If you work with another lab that deals with or works with IoT, they should have a comparable level or comparable design to ours. Our recruit, we kind of brand as a new wearer. Um, we look for people with a low prescription, a low ad, less than 150. 
but it's also great for any switchover, a lined bifocal, lined trifocal, intermediate pair, office pair. Anytime you're trying to switch somebody into a progressive design for whatever reason, the Recruit's a pretty darn good choice. The Resolve is what we call a balanced lens. It tries its best to do everything well. When moving from the big E, <coughs> SLR, or their Verilux line, the Resolve is the lens of choice that mimics the Verilux style the best possible way. The Revise is our short corridor lens. And we say that it can go down to 11 for a fit height. These go to 11. And what sets this apart from other ones that say they can do that is that ours actually works at 11. Uh, you still have some corridor length, you still have your full ad power, and people are comfortable wearing the lens. The Rush is a sport lens, and it can be designed for specific activities. And what do I mean by that? I mean, when you call and you're trying to fill an order for golf, cycling, tennis, whatever it might be, tell us what the sport or activity is. The technology behind the Rush includes head and eye movement technology, and we can design the lens so it favors the movements, and these are all cataloged by IoT, for specific sports and activities. So don't overlook that. And I mentioned I was gonna talk about camber again. Yes, camber really shines in the Hyperopes, the Plus people, excellent choice. However, the Resolve line, uh, the new version of it, is the first lens designed completely from scratch, built on the variable base curve technology of the camber and the backside prescription working together. So we're getting some fantastic feedback on wearers of this new camber resolve line. Want to learn more about Laramie K Optical's free form lens designs? Then visit us at laramiek.com forward slash free form. I ask you to stay tuned, particularly those of you who have been around for a while, and I realize that probably changing your ways is next to impossible. Uh, so instead, I am going to address the new opticians among us. And that is going to be, don't listen to the old timers, all right? Uh, look, freeform lens design, leave the calculations, in particular the base curve calculations to the lab, to the computers, to the people that design the lenses. Trying to change or override the lens design to choose a base curve negates the entire concept of freeform. Right? So, so don't do it. If Bob the old guy says, oh, I want to change the base curve, smile, nod your head, and just let the lab choose the base curve. If you are trying to match base curve to frame because of an issue or a conflict, then either get a really good edger that can handle that or send your work out to a lab that knows how to do that. So that was my little follow-up for today. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you next week.